dear students today our topic is subtraction of integers do you remember the subtraction of integers in the last class we studied addition of integers before studying subtraction of integers we will discuss about additive inverse additive what is additive inverse do you remember this word additive inverse Additive inverse is a number that when added to a given number gives 0. A number that when added to a given number gives 0. Consider one example. That is minus 3 plus 3 equal to 0. That is the first example. In this case, the sign of the first number is negative sign of the second number is positive when we add these two numbers the result becomes zero that means these numbers are opposite that is minus 3 is opposite of 3 that is minus 3 is inverse of 3 we simply we can say that minus 3 is the additive inverse of 3 therefore when we add one number and its additive inverse the result becomes 0 okay next 8 plus minus 8 equal to 0 the first number is 8 and the second number is minus 8 8 is the additive inverse of minus 8 that is 8 is the opposite of minus 8 or minus 8 is the opposite of 8 that is additive inverse is a number that when added to a given number gives 0 okay next find some question additive inverse of 1 to find additive inverse of 1 we write the number itself then change the sign that is here the sign of 1 is positive we change it as negative that is additive inverse of 1 is minus 1 same number with the opposite sign next additive inverse of minus 3 clearly we know it is plus 3 we simply we can write it as 3 there is no need of positive sign before a positive number that is no need of plus sign for a positive number then next additive inverse of 100. Additive inverse of 100 is minus 100. By using this, we can subtract the integers. Okay, let's see how to subtract integers. Consider the first example. Question is minus 8 minus minus 4. Here we can use additive inverse. Listen. There is no option in the of subtraction in the case of integers. We change the subtraction into addition and use the rules of addition. First we change the subtraction questions into addition. Then we use the rules of addition. Let's see this. In this case the first number that is minus 8. There is no change in the first number. We write it as minus 8 itself. Next is subtraction. Subtraction, we change the subtraction into addition. That is subtraction changes into plus addition. Subtraction changes into addition. Then after changing subtraction into addition, we change the next number. That is we use the additive inverse of the next number here the next number is minus 4 then additive inverse of minus 4 is plus 4 so we can write it as 4 no need of plus 4 we write simply 4 so minus 8 plus 4 now this is addition of integers with the opposite sign sine of 8 is minus sine of 4 is plus so we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number that is 8 minus 4 is 4. Sign of bigger number is minus. So we write there minus. 
and during this is a negative number we put one bracket there okay let's see next example 19 minus 26 19 minus 26 first number write it as 19 then subtraction sign we change this subtraction sign into addition sign plus then 26 is a positive number we write the additive inverse of 26 additive inverse of 26 is minus 26 so this is addition of a positive number and a negative number so we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number 26 minus 19 that is 7 sign of bigger number is minus so put there minus and also one bracket okay next example 3 minus 3 minus 7 now you can understand this first number is minus 3 then subtraction sign changes into addition sign here 7 is a positive number so we use not positive 7 but negative 7 additive inverse of minus 7 is minus 7 here this is addition of integers with the same sign that is 3 has negative sign 7 has a negative sign so 3 plus 7 is 10 sign is minus minus so answer should be in minus sign we should one bracket there okay next example 4 36 minus minus 52 36 minus minus 52 first number itself 36 then subtraction plus minus 52 additive inverse of minus 52 is plus 52 so we write it as 52 we know this is our normal addition of positive numbers 36 plus 52 our answer is 88 then the last example example 5 okay minus 8 minus minus 20 minus 8 first number we write itself minus 8 then subtraction sign changes into addition then minus 20 additive inverse of minus 20 is plus 20 minus 8 plus 20 8 is the smaller number 20 is the bigger number so we subtract this 20 minus 8 is 12 sign of positive bigger number is positive so we need not write positive plus sign so answer should be 12 so when we subtract the integers change the subtraction problem into an addition problem by adding the opposite and then use the rules of addition so dear students today all of you understood this type of subtraction okay thank you